this is Issa2 here, and today I'm back at you with another episode. This is episode 3 of our Create Mod series. So, I kind of thought the windmill was like a little bit outdated, kind of small. So, I made it better. So, I made a path leading to the main house. Um, I made it. I made a giant wheat field here, and it looks like it's grown. Um, our sugar cane monopoly has expanded, and it's a lot bigger and better. And I added some yellow carpet here to simulate ground up wheat that was just like thrown on the floor. I have an extra chest. Oh, and I forgot to mention off camera. I went mining and I found a huge cave and I mean huge and I got diamonds and I got an enchantment table and we have a lot of bookshelves um just one more diamond from a diamond chest plate I don't really want to make diamond lagging so I'm just gonna save up for a diamond chest plate um so we could put a corn flower in here, and it gets us one blue dye. But, if we put it in the millstone, and we wait for it to grind up, then we get two blue dye. So, that is a great use for the millstone. It can give you better items when you grind it up, instead of just, like, crafting them into something. Six light gray dye. So, as you can see, it's really nice. That's what we're going to be using this windmill for. And, like, the grindstone. If we want to, like, grind something, process it. Then we just come here. And then we just get all of our stuff. So, let's go harvest the wheat. And here we go. I also found some carrots. From a zombie, a zombie dropped some carrots. And now, there we go. Oh, that is a lot of wheat. We have like a stack of wheat. Um, 61 wheat from harvesting that. And we got like over two stacks almost three stacks of wheat seeds so i guess we can fully replant this here okay so now that is all planted up and i guess i might as well just like put this water bucket right here so and there we go um so, I don't really have any room for the enchantment table. And, I, like, I don't want to put it outside. Um, we have 12 bookshelves. And here's our enchantment table. I have a bunch of lapis lazuli here, too. But, we're going to need to get some leather to make more books. To make more bookshelves because to make um, a level 30 enchantment set up to enchant like level 30 enchants then you need 15 bookshelves and we're short on three so we need to get nine more leather so let's go search for some cows um yeah I kind of got distracted collecting leather and I went down into the caves, and I guess um, something that happens in the create mod is caves sometimes generate with, I guess, these areas with this white stuff, which is dolomite. And it's kind of like a better diorite. Like, diorite, it's... It looks bad, not gonna lie. Um, some builders, they can actually make diorite look good. 
I don't know how they do that. It's just pure magic, but like Dolomite. Oh no, creeper. But Dolomite, it actually looks pretty good. And I think we could use it in our builds. Um I have two ideas for some builds. So we could make an even bigger house which I have some really great ideas for that and also there's this which is limestone pretty cool limestone looks pretty great and I also used weathered limestone in the windmill but 40 iron ore that's really good I used weathered limestone walls. I'm just gonna get out of here because all the mobs are after me. Okay, there we go. And we can now sleep. Um, so now we have a bunch of ores. And I guess we can smelt all of that up. So, I mentioned some ideas for builds, so I have an idea for, like, a bigger base. I mean, this starter house, it's okay, but it's just too small and it doesn't have enough space for everything. So, I'm going to make a Victorian-style house, because at the time of recording right now, Victoria Day is coming up, and I mean... Victorian style house, Victoria Day, they both have Victoria in them. And Victorian style houses have really great architecture. They're very like ornate and complicated, but they look really good. And another idea I have is the factory. And pretty much in anything that's the create mod, you need to make a factory for doing create mod stuff. I'm gonna like automate stuff and I'm gonna have like levers. It's like, oh, I want the mechanic press to activate. And then I'll start like pressing down the iron ingots into sheets or something. And it'll kind of be like that idea. Um, I only got three leather, but I guess we can make some books with that. Three books, which will get us one bookshelf. Not bad. But we're still like two bookshelves away. From getting level 30 enchantments. So I have a few ideas for the factory. Um, for the block pallet, um, in the cave that I found, it was huge. And I found some gabbro and dolomite and limestone. And gabbro, if you go in here, It looks pretty cool. Like, that's Gabbro right there. You can also get it by smelting granite in a furnace, but it's just better to, like, just find it naturally. Um, Gabbro cobblestone. There's the slab variants. Polished Gabbro. Gabbro bricks. Fancy Gabbro bricks. Gabbro pillar. Paved Gabbro. Layered Gabbro. Chiseled Gabbro. And also mossy and overgrown gabbro. So it has a lot of variants. And it looks pretty good. So I would say I'm going to use gabbro. For the. For the factor. Except. It's going to use a lot of gabbro. So I'm just going to like. 
find a bunch of Gabbro. I'm going to find all the Gabbro that I can get. And there we go, 14 blocks of copper. And I guess sink. Let's make some blocks of zinc. Can, can you even make blocks of zinc? Yeah, you can. That's pretty cool. There we go. And that takes up a lot less chest space. There we go. Um, this is my create mod chest here. I just put anything that's the create mod in here. Weathered limestone. It looks pretty. Um, we could just make the enchantment set up right now. And then just like fill the other two bookshelves in later. Now, I need to know where I'm going to put the Victorian style house. I think by the water over here would look good. Although there's a ravine right there. But of course we can always just cover over the ravine, you know, just put dirt over it and then nobody will ever know that there was a ravine under the Victorian house. Um, yeah, dirt update here. We don't have enough dirt, but we covered over a little bit of it. Um, I think by the water would be a great spot for this Victorian house, because we could, like, run a water wheel in here, and then get power from that. But we could just, like... Yeah, we're probably going to have to clear this mountain right here to make room for the house and or the factory. I think maybe like the house will be right here and then the factory will be somewhere in that forest. That would be a nice place for it. Now I'm just going to collect a bunch of dirt from this mountain and like mine it out. I'll be back. Okay, I didn't realize what I was getting myself into. This project is going to take way longer than I expected to clear this mountain here. Like, I wouldn't even call it a hill. This is a mountain. So, if I used all my time trying to mine all that out, I wouldn't have time to record the rest of the episode here, so I'm just going to, like, do something else. I'm not going to work on that project. It's going to take too long, and it will eat up all the project time. So, let's work on something else. You know, I'll just put the enchanting setup just on the ground. Okay, so I guess I'll just, like, picture a host here. Okay, and now maybe the enchantment room might be, like, up here. I'm just gonna make a guess where the enchantment room would be in this house, and then I'm just gonna put the enchantment set up right here. Okay, so here's the enchantment table, put it right there. And now let's start putting the bookshelves around it. Um, Okay, oh, no, does level 18, oh, silk touch, that's really nice, what if we add on another one, silk touch,
Okay, so that will go to level 26. Sweeping edge 3. Okay, so maybe I'll save this pickaxe as a silk touch pickaxe. Um, let's just water bucket MLG down here. Um, I don't think I'm going to enchant today, unless I could just make, like, an extra set of iron armor. Okay, so we could get protection one, projectile protection, or thorns. What do we have for leggings? Oh, protection four. Oh, that would be really nice. And protection one. Let's try that. Ooh, feather falling too. That's really good because that reduces fall damage. Um, so every time you enchant something, it like re-rolls the other enchants for stuff. And like the farther down you get, the more luck you have. Like, for example, if this was projectile protection two. I would still go for protection one because this could have something else like unbreaking three or something. Um, so we have protection two on the chest plate, protection one on the leggings, and protection one feather falling two on the iron boots. I would say that's a pretty good set of armor, but I'm just going to use this plain old damaged iron armor until it breaks. And yeah, let's do some crafting here. Let's make some hay bales. And we can use these hay bales for decoration in the windmill. So we have the yellow carpet as a decoration. That looks okay, but we can make it even bigger piles by using hay bales. So. See, we can just go like this, and then it looks like there's even more hay here. Or, better yet, we could take this carpet and place it on that, and then it looks like an even bigger pile of hay. Um, let's go right there, right there, right there, and right here there we go nice little place of hay in here it's kind of dark so we got a torch here you know instead of using torches let's use lanterns because lanterns they look a lot nicer instead of torches So, you could have, like, your plain old torch, but it doesn't really look good. So, if we place this lantern here, look at how nice that looks. A lot better than a torch. And I guess we could integrate this crafting table into the floor here. Let's just put it right there. And then if we're here, then we can just craft. I would say that's pretty good. And it's really cozy in here. I just have an extra bed in my inventory. Because, like, this this is, like, my actual base respawn point. And then this is just, like, if I'm somewhere else, like, in my builds, like, my windmill, or maybe over there. And it's, like, getting nighttime, then I can just sleep. Now, it's time to go to that cool cave. Okay, so I found the cave. Um, another cool thing is that it has all the gabbro that we need. Ooh, but there's lava here. Um, it's also a little bit dangerous. So let's just place that water down. Because I don't want to fall into lava. Oh, okay. See? That water bucket saved us right there. 
and there's the chest. Also, this redstone would be useful because there are a few redstone components in the create mod that like require redstone powering and stuff. Well, I also came here for the cave because it's a really nice cave and it has andesite which is good um originally i thought oh what is that natural scoria so i guess wait scoria Oh, that's interesting. I'll check it on the Minecraft wiki. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I figured out that Scoria is like a chocolate rock. It's like when lava touches chocolate, then you get Scoria. So that's pretty cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Water. Oh, shoot. Whew. Whew. That was gonna be bad. Over a stack of scoria. So it's pretty much like a chocolate rock. Oh, this goes down to bedrock. Okay, so score is pretty nice. And, aha, the skeleton shot me, but there's instant karma and it fell in the lava. So this right here is weathered limestone. Um, I guess weathered limestone could be a good building block. Although it's right next to the lava. Emeralds. The first emerald of this world. There we go. Um, I also kind of want to collect that Gabbro up there. Okay, so I got a stack and a half of Gabbro. A little bit of some zinc ore showed up when I was mining that. Um, I would say that I got all I need from that cave for now. I mean, I'm probably not gonna come up in this cave again. Maybe I will again because, like, it's pretty big and I haven't explored all of it. But also there's like this dolomite here and this limestone. I'm going to see you back at the base. Okay, so I'm back at the base. Um, the video is kind of getting long, so I guess I'll end the video here. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can never miss an upload of my cool survival series and a bunch of other Minecraft related stuff. Bye!